hi everyone this is Anna Tiga and welcome to my channel in this video today I'm gonna be showing you how to make high and low cape top in 10 minutes I'll be showing you three different methods I'll be using a4 papers as demonstration on how to cut these cape tops and I want you to imagine the a4 paper as fabrics so here that represents the width of the fabric and this represents the length of the fabric you need about two meters at least if you're drafting this cape tops because it's a high and low cape top first of all you want to fold the front over the front of the cape top is the shortest part of this top remember it's a high and low cape top so for mine I'm taking 20 inches for the front and 40 inches for the back right so as you can see there you want to fold your fabric like that then fold it over again so you've got the front and the back panels now once that is done you start thinking of cutting your neckline which is the first part of the pattern cutting and drafting so it will look like this then I'm gonna be taking 2.5 inches for the neck depth and 4 inches for the neck width so I'm using centimeters here instead of inches due to the paper size but on your real fabric you want to take two and a half inches for the neck depth and about four inches for the width of your top but if you want your top wider around the neck you can increase the width to five inches or six inches and you can decide to have an half shoulder cape top so around the neck I've got two and a half for the neck depth and four inches for the width so here before I give the top a shape I'm cutting the neck I'm just cutting the neck here you might want to cut the shape of the cape top first before you cut out the neck I'm gonna show you why in a minute so if you want the shape of your cape top to be like this shape you can leave it and start sewing that's it but if you want your cape top to be more defined here is what you need to do before cutting the neckline right you need to take your ruler and shape it out give it a specific length measurement you want for the back like I said I'm comfortable with 20 inches for the front and 40 inches for the back so whatever the length you want for the back of your cape top and the front go ahead and do that then I've shaped the back then you want to shape the front open it up so imagine my fabric is 45 inches in width so from the nape of my neck to the sleeve is 22.5 when folded over as you can see there so now you want to give it a shape like this you can measure or you can do it freehandedly and you place the top back to its normal position and cut the back first once you finish with the back then you want to cut the front just watch what I'm doing like I said you can place a notch to help you as a guide for when you open your fabric up so you don't make any mistake then you place notches then you open it up like this and fold it over so you can cut easily make sure it's well aligned your fabric is well aligned grab your scissors and cut so that's it now we have a complete cape top now the only thing you need to do here is to stitch all the way around and the neck you can decide to cut a facing or use a bias for that how easy is that very simple I low 
Cape Top. So I'll be showing you another method by which you can cut your Cape Top. I'll move on to the next. This is a circle method and it's like you're gonna fold the fabric over like that completely and fold it again. But I tell you this method might waste a bit of your fabric. You will see why in a minute. So you fold your fabric over like that, then fold it over again. So what we're going to do is like almost when you're cutting a circle skirt, almost the same or a flare. So that's the same method here, right? Can you see that? Fold it over again. Then now we're going to take measurements for our neck line. So again, I'm taking two and a half inches for the neck depth and four inches for the width of the neck. Like I said, you're free to take any measurement you want for the neck depth and the neck width. So I'm going to draw my line. You can have V neck if you want as well instead of the round neck. Then grab your ruler and go to the tip of the paper there. So that will be the tip of your fabric and mark the length you want which is the longer length here i'm using the ruler to mark 14 centimeters but on your fabric you might want to mark 30 40 inches the back of your cape top so when you get to the size there because the fabric isn't long enough on the width it might stop somewhere there but if you have a 60 inches width fabric, you might be able to make a complete circle. This isn't a complete circle, but depending on the fabric you're using, you might be lucky to make a complete circle. Then cut that out and cut the neck. And once that is done, you want to open it up and you want to shape out your front. That's why I said you might waste a bit of fabric. Once you open it up like that, you want to shape out the front panel. See? The front side, I mean, of your cape top. So there we go. Now this is shorter now. You've got the front shorter now than the back. And in a way, you've wasted a bit of fabric. Like I said, it's a waste of fabric. So that's it. That's the second method I want to show you on how to cut. Now we're going to move on to the third method. So here I want to fold the front, the high side and the low side, like I showed you in the first method. But with this, it's going to be slightly different. You fold it over again right it's better you fold it like this so you can see the front side properly so before you draft out the neck what you do with this method is to give it a shape first so you can grab your ruler and measure the way you want how give it an accurate measurement or you can just grab your scissors and give it a nice oval shape if you're not confident with cutting free-handedly please use your ruler and measure properly so here i'm cutting as you can see it's a blending on the front panel and the back one as you can see i've cut both together so it's both shaped can you see that i don't have to shape that after cutting the neckline it's already done so now i'll move over to the neckline and just take my measurement and that's it so this is the third method. So you want to decide which of these three methods will work for you. So here I'm taking my neck depth measurement and the width measurement. And I'll repeat again. You can decide to make it an off shoulder cape top. So you increase the width measurement. And if you want it deeper, like you want four inches depth or three, you can. So that's it. So that's the third method. And honestly, I 
think I prefer this method better than the first and the second. I want you to tell me what you think about the three method I've showed you, the one you prefer, and let me know if you will find drafting your own cape top easy after watching this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, press that notification bell for more videos like this. Like, share, and leave me a comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, look after yourself and bye for now.